Hi, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy bitters vinegar that's really great for springtime. You can add it to salads, you can add it to soups, you can add it to stir fries. And it's a really great way to get nutrition and also to help use some of our best spring herbs to help flush the body. Here we have a really nice patch of chickweed, Stellaria media. And chickweed is a wonderful spring herb. It's very succulent. You can see it's got sort of a reddish base, uh, really thick and very juicy. Uh, you can see here it's got little flower buds. They'll open as the weather warms. Uh, and they got these little white flowers that look like stars. So we'll be using some of this to add to our vinegar. It has lots of minerals that extract really well and really easily into a vinegar solution. We'll also add some spring onions or some chives and uh, you can see the little flower bulb here. So we're not going to pick this, we're going to let this come to flower. But we're just going to cut some of the grasses and we'll add this, it'll add a really nice flavor. Oh and look what I found by the chives. Our chickweed is starting to open. There he is, or I should say, there she is. Little white flowers, very very sweet and you can see on the succulent base of a purplish stem. And it wouldn't be a spring bitters blend without some dandelion. So here we see the toothed leaves of dandelion. And um, you know, ideally you harvest these plants when the flowers are out so you can properly identify them. But I know my yard pretty well and I know that this is, this is dandelion. You can see the head of the dandelion right there. She's gonna start to grow up. Um, so I'm gonna pick some of these leaves and add them too. Here's a great example of nature at her best. This is my dog eating her spring greens. Um, in the springtime, all animals like to forage on wild greens to help cleanse their system. And my Rhea dog, she knows that now is the time to start to get things moving. Here's a dandelion flower. It hasn't opened yet. It's still a little too early, as you can hear by the birds, and a little too cold. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the flower, the stem, and see if I can get some of the root. Beautiful, all right, so here is my dandelion and a nice taproot. Here we also have a little bit of purple dead nettle, Lamium purpureum, it's, oh, it's in the mint family. It has a nice square stem. This is a wild edible too. It's a little hairy, so um, you know, you can eat it in salads, but you're gonna experience that hair. So we're gonna pick some of this. It's highly nutritious, and uh, we're gonna add this to our herb basket. Right, Raya? <laughs> so here we have our spread for our herbal vinegar. We have our chickweed, a dandelion with a dandelion root. Uh, we have some purple dead nettle and we have some chives. So we'll go inside and we'll add some vinegar to it and I'll show you how to make it. So your next step is to chop everything up and then put it in a jar. So here we have our herbs, a little cutting board, apple cider vinegar and I like to use the raw unpasteurized so it still has the mother in it and then some sort of jar with a good lid and then we're going to use parchment paper or something around it because otherwise the uh, the vinegar the acid will corrode the metal and rust it so we have to create a seal While I'm chopping, I like to just thank the plant for its medicine and thank it for providing my family with so many nutrients and so many good bitter compounds that'll help the body to rid itself of any unneeded and unnecessary things. So now I've got my jar. It's filled with herbs. You do want to try to fill your jar to the top. And you can see I've got all everything chopped up pretty finely and it's this simple just give your apple cider vinegar a little bit. and so then I'm just going to pour my apple cider vinegar all the way over the top and cover it completely oh I love it when it works out perfectly like that and I'll just use my knife and push it down a little bit just to make sure Everything is below the liquid line. So you can see the liquid is all the way up to the top. I'm going to take my parchment paper and cover it. Sit 
for maybe about two weeks and let it steep and um, label it. <laughs> make sure you label what you make um, so you know exactly what's in it. And you can use other spring herbs too. You can use violets and plantain um, if you can find them in your yard. So uh, this is just what's blooming right now and this will be a great liver tonic as well as a kidney tonic as well as full of vitamins A and C um, and a bunch of minerals that are found in all of these herbs. So I hope you get out there and try. I'll be doing a spring herb walk in May next month so feel free to check that out. You can also join our herbal apprenticeship program starting in May and I'll teach you how to make this and a ton of other really wonderful easy medicines.